Alrighty everyone, how you guys doing? This is the review for the new MacBook Air mid-2012 The 13 inch low end model which is priced here in the UK at 999 The specs are 1.8 GHz processor up to the turbo boost is up to 2.8 4 gigs of RAM, 128 flash storage and it's of course got the new Intel HD 4000 graphics now that a couple of days have gone by since I've got this MacBook Air and as it's my third MacBook Air since 2010 I am relatively familiar with the hardware, the software, what to expect and hopefully my feedback in this video is going to be beneficial for those of you getting your MacBook Air possibly your first MacBook Air starting off with the design, the weight and the size absolutely gorgeous it's remained the same since 2010 lightweight stylish they haven't done anything different since 2010 in terms of external changes or look wise it's pretty much the same the weight of the machine is 1.35 kg and the screen size which i opted for was 13 inch simply because it's better to dies the bigger the better let's just leave it at that Let's move on to the internal changes where the meatiest of changes have gone down and really if you are opting for a 2012 machine it is mainly because of what they've done inside. USB 3, we finally have it. Faster transfer speeds, reasonably priced external drives which are USB 3 versus Thunderbolt which could cost you in excess of hundreds. Uh, USB 3, while not on par of Thunderbolt in terms of transfer speeds, it is you know, faster than USB 2 of course. FaceTime 720p, which is one of the reasons why I got this machine, it is absolutely gorgeous in terms of video quality, pictures, great. So you've pretty much got two USB 3 ports, one on each side of the machine, and on the left hand side of the machine is a new MagSafe 2 connector, which while it doesn't look too wow, it actually is, I've got a 2011 machine as well, and it can get a bit annoying because it blocks off the USB port because it's long depending on which way you connect the MagSafe the MagSafe 2 however eliminates that issue so no matter which way you connect it the USB port is not going to get blocked so genius idea there generally the port allocation hasn't changed from its predecessors which is good because the machine is not relying on one side of the machine for all the cables and all the wires and all the clutter it's balanced it in, and it's one of the things that I love about the MacBook Air in terms of the processors, now we have the new Ivy Bridge chipsets which are faster in terms of rendering, playing games, or if you're exporting, doing Photoshop and importing, exporting, it is faster. And of course, you've got the new graphics by Intel HD, 4000, the pre previous one was 3000. And I have done tons of gaming tests, speed tests, stress tests, they are appearing on your screen should you wish to check out or compare the previous MacBook Air 2011 and see how much of a difference it is and they are on your screen so just click on them if there is one downer I would point it at the audio and the speakers they aren't great I've never been a fan of them but the good thing is Apple has just introduced a new MacBook Pro with the best audio in a notebook so come 2013 hopefully we'll see some of that technology moved on to the MacBook AR in terms of storage I would highly recommend 128 or more nothing less don't even think about getting the 64 if you are spending that much money on a macbook air you might as well just get 128 in terms of memory it starts from 4 gb and it'll be fine for most users i got the 4 and i'm finding it's fine it's perfect but if you are going to be doing intensive stuff 8 gb will kind of last you longer as well if especially if you intend on keeping the machine for a good couple of years then the 8 is for sure really nice to go for overall this machine is an extremely good buy in my opinion, it's a better buy than the 13-inch MacBook Pro purely because of the display used in the MacBook Airs. It is stunning. It's got a high-resolution display, easier to the eyes, easier to work on. You want to use the machine, whereas when you use a 13-inch MacBook Pro, because of the glare, it turns into a mirror, and in my opinion, it offers an inferior experience. I hope you like this video, feel free to subscribe, like the video if you did genuinely like it and if you haven't seen the MacBook Air 2012 playlist where I do the gaming test, the speed test, the stress test, click on the screen to view those videos. I would appreciate if you can check out iGear.com, hit the social media links or purchase one of the products, that would be pretty cool. If you have any questions about this Mac or any eye stuff, feel free to leave it in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter and we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching guys, cheers!